Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome back to this. I've got some mystery packages. Don't know what they are. Let's have a look. Oh, that one really like sliced in deep. I could have uh, really knackered what's in here. Ah, aha. This is very interesting. This apparently is a two port USB switch. And you're saying, why would I need a two port USB switch? Well, what you can do, and annoyingly it has got A type connectors, is. Um, you could have basically two computers, so that's what I guess this would be. These would be going to each PC, and this could be, say, one pen drive. So you could just switch between two computers and one pen drive. So, yeah, actually, we've got time. Let's have a quick look, shall we? It feels very mechanical. Um, so, which would be a pretty awesome way of switching a USB, if you think about it. It's just the same as yanking it. But I would probably prefer a better transition time between the two states. So, let's see what's inside. It is entirely mechanical. Yeah, but that's fine. You know, that's going to work okay. Um, but I wonder if the device itself, you see, because power will sort of be cut from the device really briefly, like only for a, a nanosecond. Bang, bang. But it uh, could be enough. That's superb. I'm going to probably try that on my Atari ST where I've got it a pen drive that goes into the sort of um, GoTek emulator interface, you know, disk drive emulator, and then I'll put the other end on, say, a Raspberry Pi. So I can use the Raspberry Pi to program the ROMs that are on the pen drive remotely. So that will work, won't it? Should I put the last screw in? Yeah, go on. Just like, you know, you, you've got time just to watch me fannying around putting screws in things. But yeah, I think this was really quite cheap. I think it was probably under four pounds. I wouldn't have paid much more for it. But yeah, nicer uh, actual metal tin too. It's a project box. There you go. USB switch to. It says, uh, I wonder how many, um, like, uh, if it'll work on USB 3 and stuff. I think there's going to be a certain amount of attenuation and loss on that device. I'm just opening up this box very gingerly because I'm kind of opening up something. Right, so this is a replacement for something I ordered that cost me £11.49 from Hobby Components and it is a logic analyzer. So we're going to have a quick look in there. So a logic analyzer allows you to test up to say eight ports. Let's count this. One, two, Three, well, whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Am I counting ten here? Well, maybe it's ten plus power. And uh, oh, we got a, a circuit sort of diagram on the top. Yeah, you've got channel zero to channel seven, and then two grounds. And it's really simple. It's basically um, a small USB device to, I think, serial. And there's some open source software for doing logic analysis. Um, you can see it's very much like a lot of the sort of data loggery things that I've got lying around that even I've made. Um, but what you can do is you can measure things like serial buses and various parallel interfaces. And then on the screen, you should be able to see what the data is going through them. So that's nice. Or just measuring eight separate switched events. Fun, fun. If you know what logic analyzer is, then that's fun. Mm, now, this one is super weird because it's really heavy and it's making it an awful mm, big clatter. I have no idea what this is. I kind of am going to start taking more care when I'm cutting things open just for my own safety and because if it Someone, sometimes people are sending me things in boxes that you'd want to keep because it might be a, a retro device. What is this? What the heck is this? NES 30th anniversary. Wow, look at that. NES 30 game controller. <gasps> mm, uh, I suspect. Yeah, look, it's a Bluetooth. A Bluetooth NES controller. Isn't that lovely jubbly? Mm, yes, please, more of that, sir. But what I really like about it, it looks like a NES controller, but you've got the shoulder buttons and the extra button, so it's basically a SNES controller in a NES. Oh, that's so retro, so groovy. So we'll have to be doing a video on that at some point. Um, so there, that, my friends, is what in my post today, of my post box of mystery. So I wouldn't have guessed what they were, and you wouldn't either. <laughs> Please uh, comment down below if you've got experience of any of these items you want to comment. Uh, like and subscribe if you're that way inclined. And as ever, thank you for watching.